The Democratic Party likes to freak out, especially the donor <laughs> class, tends to clutch its pearls and fall on the fainting couch. It happens all the time. And they're doing it a little bit right now about this presidential race and saying, you know, they don't have the right people in this field. We're doomed. Is see, that fair? Well, I think to this moment that's fair, but w let's see how the process unfolds. This process usually yields the person for the moment best capable of winning the election, and I hope that's what's going to happen. We have had such a, a focus on is it Medicare for all or not Medicare for all. You know, what as Democrats, what we're for, I think, is universal coverage, uh, reducing people's costs, and maintaining quality. You know, and Someday we're going to design that and it's going to work and whoever figures out how to do that politically ought to get the political equivalent of the Nobel Prize. I hope it's me. But that is where we ought to be as Democrats instead of having this laborious debate about Bernie's bill and Elizabeth's bill and Medicare for all, which I think has distracted us from the much more important question that voters have on their minds. Over the last 50 years, 90% of people really haven't had a pay raise. And if I had to summarize the last 10 years in my town halls, it's people saying, no matter how hard I work, I can't afford housing, health care, higher education, early childhood education, I can't afford a middle class life. That's the stuff we should be focused on. Donald Trump doesn't care about anybody else's kids. I'm not even sure he cares about his own kids. But he certainly doesn't care about yours or mine or you know anybody's in Concord, New Hampshire. And I believe we need a president who's focused on that. At this moment, as we sit here right now, you think that the case, on the merits, the case for impeachment and removal is open and shut? I think it's very strong. But if the process confirms the facts, I think it's very clear there's a very strong case for, for impeachment and removal. This is going to be happening now probably in January rather than December, which happens to be the month before the Iowa caucuses. Right. And there are not just you, but there are five of your colleagues who are senators who are running for president. Mitch McConnell seems to be kind of psyched about the idea that he, he's going to have you all pinned, I saw he's have you all pinned down. I would never want anybody I know to be as malevolent or as cynical a person as McConnell is. Yeah. But we need to be as strategic as McConnell is. And we have not been as strategic as McConnell on judges, on climate. and. And we better be careful as we go through this process that we don't let him take political advantage of it so that when there are votes to acquit on the floor of the Senate and there are senators that are running for election in purple states, that that vote is a damaging vote for them politically.